In your vote 2020, new voting re records across the country with eight days until the election. 58.6 million people have cast ballots early. That's more than all early and absentee votes in the 2016 presidential election. News 8's Katie Wisely explains what local turnout has been. A lot of voters here in line at Luger Plaza and the wait could be long just like it was over the weekend where voters here in Indianapolis and across the city were met with long lines and that's with five additional early voting locations open. Now voters were met with a seven hour wait or longer to cast their vote at St. Luke's United Methodist Church on Saturday. Voting locations are open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. on the weekends and Marion County officials are calling Saturday a record in early voting with more than 8,000 ballots cast. They did say, however, it's unusual for voters to wait longer than three hours and all machines were ready to go, but that poll workers could have been overwhelmed by the turnout. Now, these are the absentee voting numbers in Marion County from Friday. New numbers are coming out later today, but so far, more than 95,000 mail ballots were sent, and of those, more than 64,000 were received. In-person early voting numbers show more than 28,000 ballots have been cast. Cast. Now, those coming out to vote here at Luger Plaza today, there's a special treat thanks to the Indianapolis Cultural Trail. They're hosting free music performances from local musicians, and it will start every day at 8.30 and will continue each day of early voting. Now, there could be a little bit of a long wait here as the day moves on here at Luger Plaza, but the Indianapolis Cultural Trail is hoping that the music helps time pass by quickly. In Indianapolis, Katie Wisely, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.